Whanganui this time as well on another overnight hunt. This time we've got uh, granddad, grandson and dad coming on this trip. So we've got a, three generations of, of, of family and uh, possibly hunters. I'm not too sure if uh, dad, I think his name's Kyle, he, I haven't met him yet, but um, I think he wants to shoot his first deer. I'm not too sure whether he's done any hunting before or not, but we'll find out very shortly. But um, Lucas and his grandfather, um, oh, Jesus, I've forgotten his bloody name. Typical, eh? And, uh, John, John Crossland and Lucas. Um, John normally brings Lucas down every year and um, and they shoot a couple of deer every year for school holidays and stuff. So um, the weather forecast is gustily or brisk nor'westerly, as they say, which um, is quite windy and uh, no rain, just uh, some blue cloud and wind. So it should be pretty good as long as we can get out of this wind somewhere. Um, we should be able to find some animal, animals for them, hopefully. So um, we're just about to meet them. I'm just going to meet them up the road here a bit further and then uh, we'll, we'll get into it. Dave, the landowner, is going to take us out to a couple of spots that he knows of, so it's a new area for me as well. So um, we're going to head off about 3 o'clock and hopefully we can come up with the goods for them. Hang on, Kylie. Hang on. Oh, shit. <laughs> now we're doing it again. I'll give you a thumbs up. Ready? G'day, I'm Kylie. Oh, g'day, I'm Lucas. Um, we've been coming out here for a few years now with my granddad, which is in the other room because he does not like being on video. Um, and this time my dad's come along. Yeah, I thought I'd come along and tag out and see what this is all about. Mainly fishing is my thing, but uh, we're going to shoot some guns and see what happens. Yeah, mate, so you haven't shot a deer yet either, eh? Nah, no deer. Yep, no. so. Um, bloody Lucas has got his deer before his old man, eh? Oh, I think he's got a couple, three or four. He has two actually, he's been out quite five a few six, times now. Five or six, yeah. He's got a few, he's bringing home the meat, I'll bring home the fish. Yeah. It's a pretty yeah. good variety to have though, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, awesome, so um, Dave, the owner of the property, is going to take us around to a couple of spots and show us around. And um, hopefully we can find, these guys want three deer, two, a third one would be a bonus. So um, I'm pretty sure we can do it. The weather looks pretty good today as well, and it's supposed to be all right tomorrow, maybe a few showers, but I think we could possibly get the damage done tonight, all going well, but nice. um, I won't count the chickens before they hatch, as they say. So um, yeah, let's get into it, eh? Yeah, it's yeah. good. Sweet. All right, so the boys are all ready to go. All set, look, we've got John on camera. He, didn't, he, he wouldn't have liked that, but we got him on there anyway. Ready to go, Lucas? Yeah. Sweet. Let's see if Dave can come up with a good say. No pressure on Dave today. <laughs> no, we did bloody good last time we put us into a fantastic spot, so... I'm, I, I won't expect anything though, Dave. Shot Lucas. Just nailed another one, mate. Good stuff. There he is. Good to go. Head up. Head up there, boy. She's all yours. Yeah, I'll get your pack. I'll carry all this. Alright, cheers for that, Luke.
him up with a bit of a plan. No fawns, he said. No fawns, no small ones. ridge here, drop on the other side of that, on the other side of that ridge, sneak down there, get into that right down there, and hopefully shoot straight across to those deer who nipped on. Hopefully it's closer than 300 metres, I'm picking it will be. We'll see what happens anyway, hey boys, let's go. Nice shooting. 200 metres, first two deer. Eh? What, did you, what did you think of that rifle, Kyle? It's not that bad. It's, it's fucking mean, brother. Awesome. Nice shooting, mate. That's fantastic shooting. Two nice quick shots at 200 metres and two nice clean kills. Both lane shots. Fucking awesome. Yep. That no, were good. I didn't. I, yep, lift that up. I thought you might have missed on that second shot. I seen the spray come up, but um, I thought you missed, but you didn't. You hit it perfect. Yeah. No, you got it, mate. That was nice shooting. Fucking awesome, brother. <laughs> yeah, two deer down. Oh, all that plan worked. Oh, got a sheep shit on the bottom of your camera. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't just um, walking up and shooting one in the paddock, was it? Mean. Oh, well, um, duck down this hill and go and have a look, eh? Hey? Well, what did you think of your first experience at hunting the Akali? Well, maybe not your first experience, but your first time shooting something. Yeah. Yep. Bit of a sneak around the hill there, and Akali yeah. smoked these two, and then uh, we're just sort of doing the old handshakes and congratulations. And the next minute, Dave radios up on the radio and says, Oh, there's some more coming back around the base, so. It was a mad dash, you'll probably see me drop the camera and try and scramble some more bullets in my pocket and um, didn't quite stand there long enough for um, Lucas to get a shot but got lined up on them anyway. But you got three on the deck anyway, One, one's a bit small but um, Dave just reminded me there's a couple of reds really handy to um, the hut so you might be able to pick up one of those in the morning if you're lucky and that should be plenty of venison. Yeah mate, yeah, see if I can squeeze a big red in there. <laughs> Uh, we'll sort these out and um, head on out, eh? Man. Right, that was tea. Beautiful venison mince on toast. Pretty pretty basic, but um, it filled the gap though, eh, boys? Yeah, that's So, um, do you want to give us an update, Lucas? On what? On, on tonight's dinner. episodes. Yeah. And dinner and, you know, the hunting and what so. we did. So we ended up shooting three deers tonight, today. Um, me shooting one, around 100 meters or so. And my dad shooting 
two at around 200 meters. And, uh, yeah. That was good, eh? Yeah. And um, Kylie, it was your first 2D tonight at um, 200 metres. Yeah, oh, I'm stoked. Yeah, that's good. I must say, mate, you executed that quite nicely too. It was two nice shots. You loaded up and straight on to the next animal and yeah, popped that as well. It was all in the pre-training, I think. <laughs> good, good teacher, good rifle. The rifle, hey, it all yeah. comes down to the rifle and the rest, really. Yeah, and all the tricks that come with that rifle, mate. That's a, yeah. oh, awesome. So we might have converted another hunter into hunting maybe? Yeah, you well, even the woman in uh, Raw Heart and all the rest of it, eh? Yeah, unfortunately, <laughs> unfortunately we didn't get that on camera, but um, yeah, yeah <laughs> initiation with the Raw Heart. Yeah. So yeah, that was well done as well, so no, it's been a pretty good afternoon, really. Yeah. So we know where there's a couple of red deer um, straight out this window, basically, um, about 300 metres from here. So in the morning, We'll get up and have a look out of the window and see what's there and we might be able to finish the trip off with a red deer. So we'll see what happens in the morning, eh? Well, that worked out pretty good this morning, boys. Yeah. Walked um, 300 metres from camp. We knew these reds were in here. Um, Dave gave us a tip and um, yeah, we snuck over here. They weren't where they were supposed to be, where the nice grass is, but there's well, only this one here and the, that fellow buck that you've seen on the film. Um, and Lucas pulled off a nice sort of 120 metre shot in the neck and just poleaxed her. Beautiful. Um, the only thing is, she's right in the middle of a swamp here. So um, it is quite quite greasy in here, but um, we'll whip the stomach out and lighten her up a bit and then we should be able to just drag her across there to the bike, which is only about 20 metres away. Right, so we took the skin off the slinky, off this hind, and some of you might think, oh, you shot a, you know, a pregnant hind, but it's um, about animal management here. We have to keep the deer numbers in check and we actually target the pregnant hinds this time of the year because if you don't, you're just going to end up with double the amount of deer that you had the previous year so um, guys that are shooting spikers for meat and all that sort of stuff um, in overpopulated areas 
you probably want to change your tactics a bit and start shooting hinds um, if you want to keep the numbers in check and leave your spikers alone and your young stags and, and one day you'll have plenty of nice stags running around rather than a heap of hinds <laughs> and a few stags you have a heap of stags and a few hinds and still have you can still have good deer numbers um, but yeah just keeping top on top of the deer is, is what it's all about basically and keeping the farmers happy because they've all got bloody stock that eat grass and a big unit like that there will um, chew back a bit of grass in one night yeah. so we just got the skin off that hind and uh, she is a big girl but beautiful be beautiful eating she's got real nice dark meat but um, I reckon she'll be 70 kilos that hind she's she's big she's definitely got a lot of weight to her she might even be bigger she's like a stag but um, yeah and no meat wastage there either with that beautiful neck shot that Work is done there, straight in the neck, so you can't get any more organic prime venison than that, basically. And then um, we've got these little fellas in here. So these are fallow deer in here, so we've got one nice big hind there, and then a couple of little, basically, wieners, really. Little rat ones. But um, now you boys have done pretty good. So I've just got to whip the skins off these other ones, and, um, and then we'll probably break them down so the boys can put them in the back of the car, but... We might make this a bit of a wrap on this video, so um, what, do you, what do you reckon John, another? Another successful hunt? Yep. Yeah. I'm going to leave it at that, are you? I am indeed. <laughs> Sweet, and what about you Lucas? Yeah, it was a great hunt, four deer in the end, I only had them for three, so I got an extra, which is good. Yeah, no, that's good, bloody good. Yep, now pretty good experience and um, yeah, good accommodation, good meals, and uh, like you can see there beautiful venison to take so man so thanks for watching once again guys and uh we'll see you on the next video cheers